what I can see, this channel is not sponsored by a hair conditioner brand. However, it's sponsored by great human beings. You guys, my lovely supporters on Patreon. And if you're one of them, I want to thank you so much. If you're not one of them, then you can join in anytime. I will leave a link in the description box down below. Okay, let's get saucy. Hey guys, salut, this is Alex and this is the Mother Sources series. If you remember well, I told you I needed to get my hands on the ultimate sauce pan because I think it definitely can improve my sauce game. Now, here I am in beautiful Istanbul in Turkey and I'm here to see a friend of mine, Emir, who also happens to be one of the most brilliant coppersmith. These workshops are located inside the Grand Bazaar, which is that enormous, beautiful market right in the center of Istanbul. He's waiting for us, so I suggest we bounce. So at the moment, I'm looking for Emir's place. Uh, I've been to this place once in the past. Emir's metal workshop are all located in this, I think it's called the Han, but it's a very, very old building. Let, let, let's get inside. It's beautiful, by the way. It's just stunning. I can hear somebody banging. It must be su super close. I can see some stairs. I think it might be this way. Definitely getting closer to the noise. Merhaba. Merhaba. Uh, soy? Soy. Okay. Teşekkür. God damn it. It wasn't the place. Metal workshop should be somewhere like... Uh, I need to find Emir's place. It's a maze and an amazing place. Okay, that one was for free. Hello, Emir. How are you, man? Listen, I'm, I must be super close to your place. I'm, I'm still looking for it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. How are you, man? Good, good. good nabiz, nabiz. Yes. How was your morning in Istanbul so far? Magnificent. Do you like our building? Oh, yeah, 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 I love this place, man. It's a 17th century imperial production building. I feel like I'm in history at the moment. How close was I? 25 meters. Ah! Okay. Come, let's go. Okay, so, following you, man. Will you have a tea with us? Yes, please. Welcome yes. back to Istanbul. Merci. Our, our teas are coming. I don't know if you remember, guys, but it's not the first time that we meet. In a previous episode I did about food you can find in Istanbul. We met in the Kadikoy Bazaar where ah, I live. The, yeah, exactly. Yes. Where, where, where I, we had the muscles. Yes, and you said oh la la with the muscles. Oh la la! So, so I'm aware of what you do, but some of my viewers don't know what you do. I'm the uh, founder and owner of Soy, and uh, we manufacture professional cookware from copper and silver, but we do it entirely by hand. The craft skills that we have allow us to do, I'm gonna go ahead and say, the best uh, cookware in the world. I knew I was in the right spot. I'm in the middle of this uh, series about sauces. Sauces are very important to French people. You've been to France, you know that. It's the foundation of your cuisine. Thank you, thank you. The saucepan basically matters very much when you want to reduce down a sauce to the exact amount you need. Copper is the material to go. Yeah, if you want perfect heat control. Yes. If you want the, the pot to heat up exactly at the heat of the flame and when you turn it down, it cools down exactly at the same time. I want all this. You are at the right place. You need to have a lining in, yes, in, exactly. inside, right? So usually people use tin. Tin melts at 240 degrees. The traditional... 240 degrees Celsius? Yes. Celsius. With tin lined copperware, you have to re-line them. Yes. Because the, the, the lining basically scrape away. Of course. That is definitely one of the main reasons why I never got myself some proper copperware. I came up with a with a new kind of cookware, mm -hmm. silver plated copper cookware, 968 degrees. These two metals are the two most uh, yeah. conductive 
metals in the universe. Stainless steel, uh, uh, depending on the alloy, can be up to 127 times less conductive than copper. I tried to put a stainless steel pot and a copper pot on infrared imaging. Okay. Stainless steel have some red areas and then you have some green areas and on copper everything is like warm yellow. And yeah. you will not need to mix, for example, you know when you do sauces. You don't need to mix? No. Since the pan itself is, is a full vessel for yes. conduction. If you put a copper lid on if it? If you put a copper lid on it, the, read will, the lid will also uh, the heat. Your, 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 oops. It's like making a mini oven. Yes. I have to get practical. Let's make you a pot. I mean, I'm mean, such a bliss at the moment. Wow. Whoa. So what are we going to do in this place? Okay, well, here there's a furnace where the silver layer of your pot and the copper layer are going to be fused together. So this is your copper and this is going to be the silver sheet on it. It's yours. Ooh, that's <laughs> super heavy, man. them at their super critical heat both and silver is going to be very close to its melting point so the, all the oxide is going to go fusion guys a super quick word from the headquarters if you've been following the channel for a while you must be familiar with my beloved notebook that's the place where i store all my wacky ideas like for example this steel pizza oven which you never heard of. However, you must not be familiar with this. This is the very first prototype of a commercial version of my blue notebook. Inside there is a beautiful inlay. Hold on a second. At the end, you've got some very useful cheat sheets, cooking cheat sheets, and then you've got the inlay and then the back cover. I'm sure you guys must have tons of brilliant ideas worth being written for good. This was made for you. So if you're interested in getting one, uh, there's a link in the description box down below so that you can leave your email and get notified when this goes public. All right, that's about it. Let's go back to making saucepan in Istanbul. So this is gonna be dipped in acid. We're gonna lose the oxide on top and then we're gonna start working on it. What's going on? Do you think it's gonna work? No, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Inshallah. I find it amazing. Know what this metal was a few minutes ago and how it changes so quickly. And he's gonna enter the radius in the circular saw. We just cut the piece to uh, its final dimension. Now it needs to be polished. It's funny to think that this is gonna turn into the most precious saucepan ever. It's beautiful though, like the moon basically. Okay. This is going to be a piece for my best camera smith. Haj Ahmed is going to do it himself. Our disc is ready. Yes. We're gonna spin it. Spinning actually is a very, very old technology. It's, it's three rows and it's at, at least 4,000 years uh, before the Christ. Okay, so walk, walk, me, walk me through okay, it. Okay, listen, look. You, you should not look at your hands, you should look at the flow you're creating. Okay, look. Do you see, do you see the line? Come, come near me. Come near me. So here, I'm gonna pull with my left hand. Watch me. Okay. You got it. Follow the line, follow the line. Perfect. You're good. You're very good. You could be a rower. <laughs> okay. Why don't we go eat something? There's a very good place right next to here. The smell, it's a mix between grilled meat and like metal working, no? Yes. <laughs> there is a furnace going on, but there's also a barbecue somewhere. Okay. Uh, this way. Okay. 
Yeah. This one Western Turkish specialty. You're not gonna find this anywhere in the center or the east. This köfte are just insane, man. Mm. Okay. Alex, try also this one. Oh, it's insanity! If you're ready, let's just get back to work. Okay. So how long does it take, like usually, to make one pan? Three days. But we are 12 workers here. Each of us can take, you know, 20, 30 at a time. We can end up with something between 15 to 35 large mm. pans per day. The reason oh. that we do everything by hand is the reason of quality. So, so, so you mean it's beautiful just by design? That's what I believe beauty is. It's like Bauhaus. Beauty by function. So uh, now we're gonna put the serial number. So, so I, I, I just hit it in the center. You hit it in the center, and then when you're done with the center, you make a turn with the hammer around it. What do you think? Good? Good, good. good. Ah, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> So we're gonna use a very very fine cotton okay. and we're gonna give the, the final shining on your product. So this is a very delicate and dangerous step. We're gonna put our masks on and it's better maybe if you step out. Okay, uh, oh. be careful with my pan, okay? Don't worry about it, it's our baby. After all these efforts, I can't wait to see it. I'm so pleased with what we did. Oh, it's so, so yeah. Amazing. You saw it from start to finish, literally. It's it's all it's, the making. It's insanity the amount of work required to make this. So part of your energy went to spin this, another part went to rivet this. Yes. I'm gonna put it in a bag for you. Give me five, man. Yeah. <laughs> good bye bye. Here, man. Salut. Thank you. Have a good return. Salut. Well, guys. I think that's it. I think I've got the ultimate sauce pan. <laughs> now the only thing left is not the easiest. I need to put it to good use. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye bye. Salut.